Mike Kaplan, producer of The Whales of August, is in Maine to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the film, which was filmed on Cliff Island. Leslie had a chance to talk with Mike about the film and the celebration. So Mike, uh, I've seen The Whales of August twice. Mm -hmm. Once when it first came out and once uh, a couple of years ago, a little more recent, since I started spending a lot of time on Cliff Island. Right. It's an interesting movie. Mm -hmm. I really like the movie. Good. And it's not just because it was filmed in Maine. But what, what got you involved in it? Why did you decide this was a film you had to work on? Well, the genesis of, of it was really um, my meeting Lillian Gish. And I had met her in 1968, and I think I always loved her work, although I wasn't always aware of it. And I met her, and she was the most amazing human being. She was just uh, enchanting and intellectually stimulating and curious. And, and cute as a button. Cute as a button. <laughs> and whenever I left having lunch with her or meeting, meeting with her, I always felt high. And I wanted her persona to be presented to a, uh, a contemporary audience because she hadn't really made a major sound film since Night of the Hunter. And so I kept on searching for a property. I talked to her about it, and she said, well, if there's something that comes along that, uh, that works, uh, you know what, I'll do it. And, I, and there were various projects that didn't take, and then I saw this play, The Whales of August, in Providence at the uh, Trinity Square Playhouse, where I'm from, visiting my parents. It was the last weekend. There was a little piece about it in the in the newspaper, read it, went to see the play, and I said, this is it. I mean, this is a perfect role mm -hmm. for her, and, and, and actually for Betty Davis as well. And um, uh, even though it was a play, I could see how it could be visually beautiful because of Maine. And uh, I met David Berry, the writer, who summered at Peaks Island, and... Um, that's how it happened, and then seven years later, I got the money and uh, <laughs> and from Alive, and uh, we were able to make the film. Yeah. And of course, it's set here in Casco Bay in yes. Maine on the coast. Yeah. How did you uh, now the the mm -hmm. writer is from Peaks Island, so he knew of Casco Bay. Right. And you decided Maine would be the place. Well, we went to the location where it was set. Uh -huh. uh, we did a location uh, scout. We stayed over David's. Parents' house, they had passed away on Peaks, looked at Peaks. Peaks wasn't right because it was too crowded mm -hmm. and you needed enough of a surround to get it be visually right. beautiful. And so we took a boat trip. We went to, I think, Shabig first and then we, or Great Diamond, and then we, then we went around the islands and we were coming up to Cliff. And I wanted the house in my mind to always be as distinctive. What I had in mind is a house in Giant. I don't know if mm -hmm. people remember Giant, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the great George Stevens movie. And the house pops to mind pops, when you... Pops yeah. right out, right out. out, out yeah. of the desert. In yeah. fact, they're making a film about mm -hmm. uh, th that subject right now. But um, And then I saw the house, and that's exactly that what it. I thought of. And, yeah. we, and we went uh, around to the cove. I think Chester drove us yeah. to... Uh, <laughs> And to the house, and we met uh, the Pitkins. And you knew this was the spot. And this and was it's, it. It's ideal. It is I mean, ideal. and it gives you that sense of isolation and remoteness mm -hmm. that, that, you know, you, the people are different. And how, well, you know, we're, this is going too fast, but how were you received by the island people? How did uh, it change their lives? How did it change your life? Well, the movie's changed my life because uh, it's kind of like my child, the movie. Mm -hmm. And the people on the island were extremely receptive. I think they were a little wary in the beginning. Even uh, Carolyn Pitkin and, had, and Frank had told people about it. He said, oh, who's going to make a m movie with Betty Davis and Lillian <laughs> Hish now? I mean, they're pulling your leg. Yeah. But um, Carol and I in particular had a lot of... Um, uh, uh, things in common, mm -hmm. and uh, there were books that we both knew about which were kind of uh, a little esoteric, so we mm -hmm. hit it off right away, and the, and the people on the island were, were terrific, and we, uh, I remember I came back, everything was set, and they had to have one final vote in the town hall, uh -huh. which I flew in from New York, and told them, um, you know, we, what was going to happen, and they all participated, and I wanted to bring the community into... Mm -hmm the movie, and so they were all invited to dailies. Whoever wanted to see the oh, dailies nice. every night 
could come to the t town hall and see it, which is something that I learned from Robert Altman, mm -hmm. who, in, who, uh, who I worked with for many years. I love and, his work. And who created a fantastic atmosphere. And everyone, uh, oh. every night was a par sort of a party after shooting, mm -hmm. after the v mm -hmm. vigorous, uh, taxing days of shooting. Mm -hmm. You went to dailies, and there was a spread out there, and everyone could see their work. That's so cool. So the, well, I, I know that um, it's, it's so important to the island that that movie was there. It, it did change many things. And Maine is now becoming more of a place to shoot films. Good. But back then, it wasn't no. so. So for us, it's a very important film, us, those of us in the state. And I, I wish you well with reintroducing it on the 25th anniversary to the rest of the world. All right, well, thank you. I can, well, maybe I'll tell this other yeah. story next. Well, thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Yeah.